do we take comfort in the kind of lyrics that is being played that, that speaks about scamming or whatever it is, you know, lick money. I mean, I mean, no, come on. As a country, we, we can do better. Minister, is there a thin line between censorship and, uh, and you know, freedom of expression? Yeah, but we must talk about values. What are the values that you're trying to instill? In, in, in the country, we, we can't be glorifying the kind of lyrics that that speaks to, to a lot of what is happening. We can't we can't be glorifying. We, what we need to do is to encourage persons and those persons who have the ability to write the negative lyrics also have the ability to write positive lyrics. No one is denying anyone in, any expression. You know what, what the broadcasting commission is saying that in the public domain. You know, they they have to control that on, on, on public radio, public media. I don't know why anybody should find that offensive. Uh, do we take comfort in the kind of lyrics that is being played that, that speaks about scamming or whatever it is, you know, lick money? I mean, I mean, no, come on. As a country, we, we can do better. Our music have shown that we can do it and do it without scraping the bottom of the bar. What about the argument that what they are ventilating is what they are experiencing in the ghettos? When the Ethiopians in 1966 did everything crash, that was speaking about the events of the time. Everybody sang, everything crash. It wasn't vulgar. And I can name other records that were made. Delroy Wilson, when he sang Better Must Come, was what? I mean, we, come on, come on. We, we can do better. We can do better. There is no justification for anybody putting that kind of argument as an excuse. And I don't buy that. I'm somebody who has been in music from I'm about eight years old. And in those days, coming up, all of the great Jamaican artists made their names coming clean. Okay? Because that is all I was saying. Constructive rhythms. Constructive lyrics.